Hey guys, how's it going? Today is an exciting day because today actually marks our 25th night sleeping in our Treeline Outdoors tent this year. And I wanted to make a video to share with you guys my review and thoughts of the tent so far. Starting with the very first thing of unpacking our tent, you just have to take off this cover. Super nice, it's pretty easy to get off. You just zip around the outside and then you can flip it over. And what we like to do is to sort of roll it up a little bit. And that way it stays sort of off the ground and also out of our way and it looks neater. There we go. And this is the canopy and it just opens like that. One thing that's really nice and I love this about the tent is that you can leave everything inside the tent when you close it up. So the window poles, the spring pole for the canopy, it all stays inside so it's super neat. So these are super easy, they just go into these small holes on the base and you literally just put the window like that. And then we put two more spring poles on this end of the tent. Last year when I first walked into the Treeline Outdoors warehouse, I had practically no knowledge or past experience with rooftop tents. And now more than ever, I found myself really wanting to go outdoors more, get away from being locked in in the house all the time and to sort of have that personal life. Because when you start working from home, it's hard to differentiate work and personal. It just suddenly becomes all the same. And more than ever before, I found myself just wanting to go out and camp. And having that, I think, truly was like the biggest blessing over the past year because it was that perfect balance of having something such as going out, traveling far away, truly disconnecting. And in my opinion, it doesn't matter even where you go as long as you go. It just gives you that motivation. It gives you that reason and it gives you that ability to go and camp really anywhere you want not have to worry about anything. It's so easy, it's so convenient, it's waterproof, it's windproof, it's up off the ground, it's comfortable. There's literally no negative that I can think of since when we got our rooftop tent till now. biggest things that truly impressed me with the Tamarack tent was actually how comfortable and how good I slept. You've got that nice two and a half inch or so memory foam mattress that's on the base and then we added in of course all of our sleeping bags, some extra pillows, some extra blankets. So comfortable. I often sleep either on my back or on my side and in both of those positions I've found myself sleeping perfectly fine. There's also quite a bit of space and we've even slept in there with our dog, small attack and Greyhound, she's about 17 pounds, very comfortably. Now the folks over at Shreeline have done an impeccable job when it comes to the attention to detail. The rain fly up top here, the spring poles just fit perfectly, all of the zippers work perfectly, the canopy over the window here is so nice. Again, more of these uh, little ties for if you wanted to roll up the window. Fully waterproof base, so to keep that spring pole from getting any water in it, you can see how, how it's designed. The water repels off of this material very, very nicely. I wanna show you guys one thing, how nice and smooth the tent zips. Watch this. Beautiful. Doesn't bind, doesn't get stuck, it's so nice. And the top rain fly not only looks super cool, but does a fantastic job of repelling the rain. We've 
We've been caught in a couple different rainstorms and it did a great job. I'm also a huge fan of these shoe bags. These are where you put your shoes after you get up into the tent. So convenient, just literally brilliant. The ladder itself is great build quality. Nothing about it feels flimsy or cheap. It's incredibly solid. All of these little latches that you use to extend the ladder or close the ladder, depending on the height you set the tent, are all very, very smooth. And then very quickly, you guys can see the bottom of the tent, all these things for storage. You guys saw that in our fishing trip video. We had the fishing rods mounted up there. One of my favorite things about the tent is the view. You get a 360 degree view. I don't have all the windows open currently, but this gives you a bit of an idea of the top windows, those vents you can kind of see there. We've got them open, side window, the adjacent window that is either where you're sleeping or where your feet are. And then you've also got a window here. I typically keep this one closed. Mesh screens on everything with really nice zips. Love that, keeps all the bugs and mosquitoes out. And there's also something to be said about the nice weatherproof cover. Everything closes back up so nicely. It's just so convenient. Now you can see on this side, I don't have this window open or extended. And just unfortunately due to the way I've set it up, I don't have space. I could potentially move the whole thing back you know, a couple inches and I'd be able to do that maybe next season. But for now, I kind of like having a window that I'm able to just open like that. It's very easy to see why and how sort of getting outdoors more and camping and overlanding and off-roading is becoming more and more popular. We're seeing a shift, like more people are sort of growing a bit older and, and sort of transitioning more into wanting to get outdoors more and go camping more and spend time with their loved ones outside. And I would say if you're interested in that, a rooftop tent like this is a game changer. So those are some of my thoughts after 25 nights of sleeping in our Tamarack rooftop tent. I hope this video might help you guys if you're out there on the market looking for a rooftop tent or looking to get more into the outdoors and going camping. I'll chat to you guys down there in the comments section and I'll wrap it up here now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.